what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you. So we talk about baptism as a one-time thing, but then we remember our baptism every time we enter the church and we in a particular way remember our baptism on Easter Sunday with the sprinkling rite and, and those things. And, and even, you know, it's, I could do it every Sunday. I could do the sprinkling rite instead of the, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers, I could walk around and sprinkle you all. That's one of the options that the church gives us as a way to uh, remember um, uh, the call to repentance at, at the beginning of Mass. So repent and be baptized, repent. And we should see, I hope we can see in the word repent, penance. So repent. Repent is not just an idea. Repentance is repent, do penance. So we've just had a whole season of doing penance, right? Do penance. Be baptized. Receive the Holy Spirit. Now, you've all been baptized, right? You've all received the Holy Spirit, right? Yes. You know, is there any evidence of that in your life? I hope there is. But uh, even St. Paul had to tell Timothy, stir up the Spirit. You know, stir the Spirit up. Let the embers you know, we can imagine, you can look at a fire, right? And you can see the fire kind of growing cold. And what do you have to do? You got to get some new oxygen into it, you know? So even though Peter's not talking to us, because we've already been baptized, we should hear this call to repent and be baptized, to have stirred up into flame the gift of faith that has been given to us. And, you know, I was thinking about Mary Magdalene this morning. And Mary's going to the tomb, and she's going to the tomb in order to uh, have a time with her Lord who has died, to kind of spend some time there at the grave. That's what she's anticipating. And then she has a tremendous shock of disappointment. The body's gone probably concerned. I mean, you saw how they treated him when he was alive, probably concerned that he's being desecrated. And so she's got this wave of disappointment over her. They have taken my Lord. I don't know where they put him. So all she wants is to see his dead body. And she gets a little bonus, doesn't she? Something more. Something more. More than she asked for. Jesus says at one point to the apostles, whom he calls brothers today, I read a little commentary. This is the first time Jesus ever calls them brothers. This is so they get promoted to his brothers. And also, go tell my brothers that I'm going to my father and your father. You know, God is our father in this particular way. But nonetheless, Jesus says to the apostles when he's anticipating his passion, he says to them, if you knew where I was going, you would be happy for me. And then he also says in another place, he said, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor has it even entered into the mind of man what God has for those who love him. And so I think about Mary, what does she want? She just wants to see his dead body. But what does she get? She gets to see the resurrected Christ because she's looking for him. So we continue our search. We continue our journey. We continue repentance. Repentance, as I have said a hundred times, if not a thousand, repentance is not something I did yesterday. Repentance is a life. Repent. Do penance, 
Strive for that closer relationship with the Lord. Seek the Lord. And that's what Mary is doing this morning. And so with her, we seek the Lord. And we will hear, God willing, someday my, from him, my brother, my sister, and more than we could ask for.